I'm at Universal Studios Florida to check out the Holiday Tribute Store. So how about you and I dive right in? Oh man, this is so cool. I love how they did this facade like a giant nutcracker. Let's uh, let's go inside. Ooh, upon entering a totally different landscape compared to the Halloween Horror Nights tribute store. It even smells like a Christmas tree in here. Ooh, wow, look at this dollhouse. This is pretty cool. I wonder how many Easter eggs there are in here. I'm sure there's a, a few of them. It's like we're walking into someone's house. Okay, here we go. Here's the first room. I have no idea what this is gonna look like. Ooh, wow, this looks so different. This is cool. Oh, I really like this on the wall here. This is really cool. I have all the glitter everywhere. And look, they have projections of snow coming down from the ceiling. Have some more nutcrackers here. Look, we have ornaments hanging on the tree. These are $20 for those. We have some uh, Universal Studios apparel right here. And we have uh, some mugs and snow globes. Ooh. Well, personalization is available on select ornaments. That's nice. These wood like carvings are so detailed. You got the glitter on it and everything. It's like really well done. Oh, we have some more traditional like ornaments. Look at, look at that one. Michael's got the cookie cutter gingerbread one. That one's $10, not too bad. The candy cane one's $10 as well. Oh, I love the Kringle Company. I love these Universal Studios Florida ornaments. They have all the classic attractions on there like the King Kong attraction and Jaws, and of course the classic Universal Studios Florida logo. It says you can add the date to your ornament for $3. Oh wow, these little stuffed uh, bears are only $8.99. That's actually a really good price. I was not expecting that. I thought those, those guys are a little bit more expensive. We have some more ornaments right here. Oh, I love this Universal Studios globe. That's nice. And the prices range on these ones as well. These is a $9.95 for those, uh, $19.95 for these white ones. The globe is also $19.95. Oh, look at this lantern one. This one's really cool. It's got the tiny little LED lights in there to light up the house and the trees. And just like in the Halloween Horror Nights tribute store with the pumpkin molds and stuff and the Frankenstein molds, they have a holiday version. They have the Santa Claus. That's cool. It's also $6, so not too shabby. And you make your payment and it makes Santa Claus right there. Oh, you can get a plush E.T. doll. He is $24.95. Toy soldiers telling me to go into the other room and I shall. Wow, look at that tree. So in here we have a bunch of Grinch garb going on. We have the PJs and I think there's some spirit jerseys in here as well. I love these long sleeve t-shirts. Ho, ho, no. Of course, the holidays wouldn't be complete without some novelty light-up stuff. This is uh, $12 for this glorious uh, light-up toy. Uh, they even have some holiday face masks. They're uh, $8 each, or you can do three for 20. And the hand sanitizer available is only $3. Here's another Moldorama. This one's a snowman, also $6. It's like a pastel green. It's really cool. Here are those uh, spirit jerseys I was talking about. The back looks like it says the Grinch on it in sparkly green. It's not a bad price for those at all. Oh, look, we found another photo spot. Look at all the presents. Oh, watch out for the Grinch. He's trying to snatch them all up. Oh, here's all the, oh, here's an entrance to the next room. I love how they're doing this. This is cool. Oh, this is cool. So during Halloween Horror Nights, they had all the old like park maps and whatnot. Here they have just a bunch of photos from years past. Yep, Holiday Tribute Store established in 2020. I think this is such a cool idea. I can't wait to see every year's uh, Tribute Store. Let's see how they switch it up. This is so cool. When they were doing the Halloween version, it's like, yeah, why not do uh, a Christmas version? I, uh, this is such a cool idea. I, I can't wait to see what they continue to do with this. And I love all these old photos from years past. All the characters, everyone having fun. This is awesome. Oh, look at the... The Grinchmas tree. I have a feeling that this might be one of the next rooms. I keep seeing this advertisement. So I have a feeling around the bend here is gonna be a tree farm. 
Oh wow, I was not expecting this. This is a Harry Potter themed room decked out. I mean, dang, if you're gonna deck your tree out with uh, Harry Potter stuff, they've got you covered for sure. There's so many things available for purchase in this room. I love the stockings, those are pretty neat. These t-shirts are really cool. I love, they have all the different houses. And the uh, Gryffindor tee, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. They also have the scarves and all the bags and stuff you need, the beanies. Oh, you need a giant umbrella? They got you covered there as well. Alrighty, here's the tree farm. See, I knew this was probably gonna be a room because I kept seeing those little posters. I was like, all right, they're gonna do something with this character. But wow, look at all of the Christmas trees in here. This is amazing. Again, shout out to all the designers and people that put this stuff together. You guys killed it with the Tribute Store. And I think you guys have done another amazing job with the Christmas holiday version. This is really, this is really cool. I can't wait to see this again next year. Oh, look at that, you can even get Earl the Squirrels Tree Farm Long Sleeve Tee. It's like a baseball tee, it's $30. It's really cool, it's such a funny character. Of course, the Tribute Store wouldn't be complete without some treats. Look at this, Holiday Gummy Lights, Butterscotch Peppermint, and Cinnamon, they're $2.99 each. Wow, those look really good. Oh, look at this, Maple Pecan Sticky Buns. Oh my goodness, it looks so good, look at this. It's like a live demonstration. Oh, in typical Universal fashion, we have to add the Z on the end because it makes it in more insane. So, you know, if you said said it with like an S, it would just be like Earl's Sweet Treats. Well, with the Z added on the end, it's Earl's Sweet Treats. Oh, wow, look at all of these treats with the gingerbread whoopie pie. We have Santa's Dream Cookie down there. Look at this confetti cupcake, my goodness. What about that red velvet candy cane pop? Oh, man, I'm... I'm in heaven, this is overload right now. This is total overload. What about that vegan brownie reindeer? And I'm a fan of eggnog, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that as well. Um, and then here's the prices for some of the items right there. It's just kind of your average price, pretty similar to the tribute, uh, the Halloween Horror Nights tribute store. Wow, this squirrel sure knows how to back up a truck. He crashed right through this area, didn't he? We're just hanging out under Rip Ride Rocket watching these people go by. And I also got a few treats. So I got the uh, gummy, this is the butterscotch gummy. I got the like cinnamon roll with the pecans on it. And then I have the eggnog and it has like a little treat on top as well with cinnamon. Now this is the non-alcoholic version. They also have a version with uh, the booze in it. And all together, this was around 11, 12 bucks with my annual pass. Wow, my goodness. The, with the annual pass holder discount, this was around uh, 11, 12 bucks. So not too bad uh, for some for some specialty items. Okay, I don't even really know what this is. It looks like a coconut, like a toasted coconut kind of thing with chocolate on it. Oh, let's give it a try. Yeah, it's coconut. Oh! That's really good though. Do you like coconut, Michael? No, I don't really like coconut. Oh, okay. More for me? Yeah, that was pretty good. The chocolate's really nice on that. And the coconut's really soft. It's a little bit crunchy. Has like around the edges, but not too much. That was really well done. Um, mm, it's so good. I would have never even thought about putting that on top of like an eggnog as a, as a garnish. Let me try it without the chocolate because the chocolate, you really can taste the butterscotch. I'm not really tasting butterscotch. It's kind of like, it's like, it's subtly there. I wish, honestly, they could have just covered the whole thing in chocolate because you really can't taste it. Now they had two other flavors, they had the peppermint and the cinnamon. I'm wondering if I should have just got the cinnamon that would have been more powerful because this one, this one is just, just like, it doesn't really taste like butterscotch. So I was expecting it to taste like one of those butterscotch candies, but it didn't really, didn't really taste like it. All right, now for the eggnog itself. Oh, that's really good. I like the cinnamon in there too. Oh wow, that's like really good. It's like starting, it's kicking in even more. Ooh, yeah. I can see how if I got the alcoholic one, that could be dangerous. Ooh, my goodness. That was, that's really good. And you get a pretty good sized portion too. I was expecting it to be a little smaller, but when they handed it to me, I was like, oh wow, that's like, that's that's honestly worth it. That's really good size. Yeah, these are, these are the two highlights right here. The gummy, yeah, it's, it's okay. But these two items, the eggnog and the cinnamon roll with the candy pecans, oh man, that's so good. You get that nice crunch from the, the nut and then you get that warm, like 
Oh man, it's it's a good little combo. This is nice. That's good. I would have put like some um, some more like frosting or something on it, but other than that, the candy pecans are really good. Mm. Dang, I cannot get over the eggnog. This is like this is probably my favorite item like in both tribute stores, the Halloween one and this one. I mean, I've only tried a couple things from the holiday tribute store, but this, this is really good. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoy it from the tribute store here at Universal Studios Orlando. It's a nice little quick overview of what you can expect if you're coming here in the next couple of weeks before the holiday. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and you love theme park content, hit that subscribe button notification bell. So stay up to date on every time I post new videos. I have an Instagram account. I'll leave that link down below in the description. And also a huge shout out to my Buy Me A Coffee members that help me out every single month. You guys are amazing. And a huge shout out to everyone else that's liking, subscribing, and pushing the content out there. It just means the world to me. But other than that, I hope you have a beautiful evening, morning, day, whatever it is. And I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.